Because the adductor longus runs through a few different planes, it has a few orientations, it has a few different functions or actions or movements that it creates. You can see the adductor longus represented here schematically. Its circle on the anatomic right side represents the origin, and the arrow point here represents its insertion in the back of the femur, what we call the linea aspera. More accurate view of it on the anatomic left side here. Because the adductor longus attaches in the midline to laterally, that's in the femur there, it contributes to adduction, bringing the femur bone closer to the midline. That's what we call adduction. As well, because it's oriented from front to back, because it is attaching from the front of the pubic symphysis region into the linea aspera, the back of the femur, it will also contribute to external rotation and outward rotation. And lastly, because it's oriented from top to bottom, the adductor longus can also contribute to flexion of the thigh. That's bringing, say, the knee, or really the leg as a whole, up towards the chin, or really the stomach region. For more information like this, like the video, subscribe, check out simplelinesanatomy.com.